name is Jason and welcome to another episode of me painting. Now uh, today we're going to do a portrait of a zombie. That's right, a portrait of a zombie. So this is the how to do a portrait of a zombie. So if you're in a uh, zombie apocalypse situation and you've got your paints at hand, you need to, you want to do a bit of practice in this zombie girl comes running over and uh, you want to do a painting of her before she gets too close <laughs> uh, and this is uh, this is how you do it or if maybe you're working on your own comic book idea or maybe you're doing a short film and you you want to do a painting that you want to show to your uh, makeup artists and you can go oh, I want them to be looking like this <laughs> maybe this uh, tutorial will help you out anyway let's get started because this uh, this painting is going to take a lot of brains to do <laughs> Now I've got that out of the way, let's get started. Here's the palette. So what we've got, some uh, Terraverta, some green. See that, Terraverta, some uh, French Ultramarine Blue, some uh, Ivory Black, which is what I did this initial sketch with, with some paint thinner mixed up and did it. Uh, some Yellow Ochre, some Alizarin Crimson. This is our going to be our skin colour. Um, and we've got some uh, cadmium red and yellow, which I'm going to use for the eye and some areas in the skin or in injuries and things, which is green I'm going to use as well. And of course I need some white, <laughs> which I haven't put on the palette yet. So let me just uh, get some white and put some on so we're ready. Just putting a little bit on. Now this uh, painting was a request. Someone wanted a uh, a zombie portrait that they're doing for their art exams, high school exams, I think. And uh, just wanted an idea of how to do it. So this one is for you. Okay, so. I'm going to use some uh, liquid as my medium, liquid original. I'm going to get a little bit of that on my palette already. Just using a little dot. You don't need too much medium. It just makes it flow a little bit better. I'm using uh, Artist Quality Paints, Windsor & Newton. And the brush, the main brush I'm going to be using is this one. It's a round brush, which is a Windsor & Newton one as well. Let's wipe the excess off. And let's uh, get started. Using the knife. Using the <laughs> Bob Ross detail knife. Gonna get some yellow ochre, a bit of crimson. Some crimson. Let's get a little bit of that medium in there as well. Yellow ochre and crimson. Just pick that up. Take it over and get some white in there. Make our skin colour. Quite good. Don't want it to be too pink, really. Just a bit more yellow. Sort of like that. No, just make a pile there. Just take some of that away. A little bit of this blue. Put some blue in it. want a blued version of the colour. For cold areas. Okay. So 
I've just used a little bit of blue to dull the colour. Okay, here we go. I do like that dulled version with the blue. So I'll use a little bit of that first. Okay, let's get started. Let's start putting some flesh in. So that white. up some more colour. Let's start putting some paint on. I want to put paint on quite thickly. So look, some in there. Some more of this bluey colour. about right there. Just use my thumb to wipe that off. And that side as well. Okay. Right, let's get a bit more of the flesh colour. Now of course it all depends on the type of zombie you're doing to the colour mixtures you'll have. And I'm just, I'm just really going for a very light colour and then I'll start adding some darks afterwards. It's quite a thin colour as well. So I can still see underneath drawing. It's just a... Uh, Wipe this off here. Here. Okay. A little bit of blue. It's under here. Okay, now what I'm going to do, something I usually do is I'm massing the uh, background. Add some green. Cause this is uh, this is going to be outside, so Our background is going to be green. Maybe this uh, zombie is attacking us in the forest. And then it'll make it easier to work out your flesh tones. Okay, just blocking that in. Of course then what you can do is you can put some of that in in your mixtures. That green. Okay, now then, let's work on those eyes. The zombie eyes, they're important. The eyes of any portrait is important, really. Could be the most important bit. So, let's just grab, just grab some cadmium yellow. I mean, uh, chrome yellow, sorry. 
some cadmium red and I'm gonna just put that in the eye. Just sit back, have a look. Look at the shape of the eye, it should be sort of rounded. too much. <laughs> Look at how strong that red is. Okay, and then we can use our other colour. Okay, get some flesh tone in with the ivory black. Flash tone with the ivory black. Slide that and then uh, let's create this shape here and round and across around there on the eye. back and have a look. Some of the areas you want darkened. And just put in colour where I can see it. Um this nose needs a bit of shadow. Pick up a tiny bit of green now. I'm going to start putting some green areas in. Now this uh, <laughs> more I'm painting this zombie. Looks like this zombie's been uh, roaming the streets for a while. I'm going to darken that bit there. Okay, let's. I'm just going to grab some crimson. Let's, um, let's add some wounds. Maybe there's a wound here. And there along the top of the head there. Just putting crimson in can darken that afterwards. Okay. There's I don't know what's happened. You know, she before she got turned into a zombie she could have been attacked. Okay. Let's darken the eye. Let's grab another brush. Maneuver a few things out of the way. Wipe the knife. And another brush. Okay. So we need some green. Green and white. Just going to do the green and white. And a bit of blue. Green, white, and blue. Mostly blue, I suppose. Let's uh, put the uh, eye part. Quite wide eyes. 
to be quite wide because zombie eyes would be well I think they would be okay what I'm trying to do is pick up a lump of colour so I can cover my mess up there <laughs> there we go. And then just round that up there. I really should get some better brushes. <laughs> these are uh, some of these brushes are just falling to bits. All right, let's uh, get a little bit of ivory black. To make these eyes more prominent. And these eyes to be a bit exaggerated, scary. Okay, and that one. a good brush that I can do this with one that hasn't been destroyed <laughs> okay let's get a bit of skin colour So I'm really going back and forth, light and dark, dark and light, and looking at the shape. Okay, let's get in there. I might put a bit of green under the eye there. And then maybe get some dark colour. Start darkening certain areas Okay, it's getting better. It's getting better. I always think when I'm painting, I'm, like, I'm always going back and forth, back and forth, and trying to improve it, doing a bit more, trying to improve it again. Always uh, believing that eventually, if I improve it and improve it and improve it, eventually it'll work out. Doesn't always though, unfortunately. Sometimes I have to get the dreaded knife out and just drape it off and start again. But each time you do it, 
Each time you do scrape it off and go, nope, it's not worked. You can always, you always learn a little bit. Put a bit of yellow in that eyebrow. Don't want that to be just black. Okay, start shaping that. And that's, <laughs> I'm holding loads of brushes here. <laughs> what we've got on here? Got a little bit of crimson on it. Let's pick up some skin colour with the crimson. Just, that's better. Just warm that up a little bit. Okay, that's getting too warm now. <laughs> Just get some of that white. Pick up a little bit of the blue. A bit of white and blue. Let's just cool that down a bit. Soften it with my finger. Blending it, yeah, that's better. A little bit there as well, on the chin. A bit there. Let's blend that together as well. Okay, on the nose here. Well, that worked quite well. That was a, one of those happy accidents. <laughs> Using a brush with a bit of red on, which I didn't know was there. It worked nicely. Dullness there. Maybe just get some dark in there. Okay. What have we got? We've got the nose we need to shape. Which would look good. I'll just sort of improve it immensely, well hopefully, once the nose is started, so a nostril in there, a nostril in there, shape there, put that shape here, let's bring that all the way up to there, and put that shape's already here as well. Let's uh, bring that out. Okay. Now, we really need to begin working on the mouth. Let's just put this colour in there. A bit of green, actually. And what would be good is to uh, put in the black areas from where this is. Tack some of the skin. A bit of cad red as well. Let's just blob some of that in. Make that look a bit more like a wound. That's so uh, ivory black, tiny bit of cadmium red. And actually, while we're at it, let's just put a little blobs there. And let's start working on the mouth. So of course this is a zombie, it would have had a feed. Looks like it's been there a while, so Let's put some blood around the mouth as well. There's some blood there. On the neck. 
okay <laughs> this is looking a little bit gruesome pick up some color this is a warmer color just want to put some in here and there for the line under the chin just to uh, improve on that okay now let's uh, we need to work on the mouth that's a very important area so let's get some grey we'll have the finger to soften it pick up a little bit of skin colour okay So I'll put some black in there, just having a look. And then what I'm gonna do, some white, white and a bit of yellow ochre, and a bit of crimson. I might put the indication of a couple of teeth. Look a bit weird. <laughs> Look a bit gross. up some more crimson improve on this area around the mouth so I need to uh, bring in that bottom lip as well works it's looking uh, pretty gross some dark in there okay yep and uh, sort of having a look So there. We'll leave that like that. Let's uh, sit back and I need to start working on the hair. So I'll get some of that Payne's grey. Mixed in with some of the uh, flesh colour. So let's have a look at this. Sort of went for a dirty looking brown. I 
I just said Payne's grey, sorry, I meant ivory black in with some uh, yellow. Maybe, maybe shed a long way be here. So let's, uh, Sided. So there's more hair on this side. Let's think about her neck as well. Okay. That sort of needs moving a bit. Yeah. Uh, starting to uh, develop some uh, red, a bit of the crimson and the white, like a sort of a purple colour for this hair over here. Just to get some shapes in there. If it's too dark, I mean too bright, just go over it again. Just to soften it. Doing this quite loosely, so you can see it's a little dark in there. Okay, it's <laughs> coming. Let's have a look. That's what, what else can we do? Okay, we've got quite a lot. Time so I can work some more on it. Now I would pick up some blue and I would start. Well, I wouldn't. This. <laughs> this is what I would do, this is what I'm going to do. I would start bringing in some coolness around this area. Keep, keep sitting back. I'm having a look at what I've done, and then uh, thinking about ways to improve it and to uh, develop it further. Grab some skin. <laughs> so the paint is no longer paint. It is. Skin is uh, it is gore. See how warm that's got there. I don't like that. Let's do that down. shadowing with it um, and then so I like to use line quite a lot do my painting and then like under this jaw use some line and the jaw sort of looks lopsided but I'm okay with that being a zombie Something I didn't like, there was sort of a weird line there. And the um, this area here, got some blue in it maybe. Come out, bringing some of that in. Maybe the 
there's a, a, a loose hair there. We lose a few, so I'll go down. So, so that's uh, the hair, let's put that in the eyebrow. Okay. What I could do with is one of those. Some light in the eye, maybe there's two dots. And then uh, a little bit of light there. Just to make those oof. eyes look a bit wetter. Get a little bit of colour. Some of that, there we go. away from us a bit now. Some dark blue, just improving this really. And then the area here, the neck, just blend that in. Soften it. Just use the brush. Pick up some of that green and just look at that bit there. Okay. Get some blue there. Just add a bit of a line there. Some blue. Just grabbing some blue. That's better. Just looking at areas where I can down a little bit. A little bit of the pure white and just put on that nose bit there. Oh. <laughs> so the uh, dreaded dirty brush strikes again then. <laughs> Had a bit of red on it. It's easy to rectify, just grab some more white and then just put it on and then you can put that edge there. Okay. You want to darken the side a bit more with my blue colour. Okay, let's sit back, <laughs> have a look, see how it looks. Is there areas that you could make better?
the areas that need more refinement. Because if you see an area that you need to improve, then a little bit of colour you'll find might be all it needs. as well and then uh, let's think about clothing I think this uh, <laughs> funny looking zombie face it's a bit of blue clothing so I'm gonna put it in off the shoulder there. I think this gives you an idea of uh, <laughs> how I paint a zombie, because there are many ways, like I've said before, many ways to do a painting. This is just one. And with that, I think we'll say this one is um, finished. Put a bit of blue in the hair there. Just to cool that hair down. Okay, yep. <laughs> I'm like spend a few hours on this and keep changing it but we'll, uh, yeah, we'll leave it there uh, thanks very much for watching I hope the uh, enjoyed this one if you're uh, interested in seeing me paint something else I do have a couple of uh, ideas in mind it's gonna I've got a did a uh, nighttime scene recently, uh, it's actually a mountain, and it worked out very well. So I'm going to show you how I did that, and uh, I'm going to do a, f a seascape as well, and I'm going to do a f some wildlife. But let's uh, <laughs> let's put the brush down. And I'll say, for now, this one's finished. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode. And I'll see you again another one. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Cheers. Mm -hmm.